The Black Bay Farmers and Consumers Cooperative Society's new nursery will help agro-entrepreneurs rid tomato fruits of diseases. Farmers say a virus has been ravaging their crops. Tomato plants in Black Bay have been getting a lot of problems in terms of disease they call yellow curly leaf. And this yellow curly leaf is, the, is really dangerous. We plant 10,000 plants. By the time you check yourself, you have nothing left. You invest so much money in that. And right now with this new technology, I believe we'll get rid of this and we'll be able to produce. So when you plant 10,000 plants, you know you have 10,000 plants and that will be very good for us. The nursery will also serve residents and environs. We currently have a, a membership of 86 persons and um, this nursery will not only serve our members but the general public. So whoever is interested in, in purchasing seedlings could come to us and place an order. And I think this is a very vital step in uh, in terms of consistency in production of tomatoes especially, which we have had serious issues with over the years. So this is a very welcomed intervention and I would like to thank the Can Canadian government through the WUSC project for this assistance. Deputy Director of Agricultural Services Kemuel Jabatis is concerned about the sustainability of greenhouses island-wide. He says farmers should consider designing more climate-resilient structures. I'm hoping that moving forward that we have received support to refurbish this greenhouse, but perhaps the time is right to look at designs that are going to withstand the tropical conditions and storms that we have here in St. Lucia. It seems that it has become a perennial problem for us where we have greenhouses and the covers go away but somehow the covers just don't get back until we get support for that. Jabatis urged the society to develop contingency plans to ensure the viability of the greenhouses. As you manage your resources, remember there is something that is called depreciation and as the structures depreciate ensure that there, is, there are measures put in place to ensure that these structures are maintained. Because when the structure is not maintained or sustained, the seedling production is compromised, your production uh, programs are compromised. And so today, I just want to encourage Black Bay to ensure that you put measures in place to ensure that administratively and from a management standpoint that these resources are adequately managed. The World University Service of Canada commissioned the nursery. I'm really looking forward to hearing your experiences. I'm looking forward to hearing the experiences from the farmers, uh, from the cooperative, uh, thinking about not only how to produce more and better and more efficiently, but how you, you know, uh, I, I understand that the, the main input here is um, uh, bringing grafting techniques for tomato onto eggplant. Uh, this is an interesting innovation. This is what this project is encouraging and taking this innovation and bringing it to the market so that it can sustain itself and also provide benefits to all involved. Agricultural officials implored farmers to embrace the support from the Canadian government. The Black Bay Farmers and Consumers Cooperative Society Nursery is valued at a tune of 17,000 EC dollars. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.